Much of the work that I'm doing at Kessler Foundation focuses on cognitive rehabilitation. So what we're trying to do is identify more effective mechanisms for improving cognition in persons who have multiple sclerosis as well as persons living with a traumatic brain injury. So much of my work fo focuses specifically on memory functioning, seeking to identify treatment protocols that effectively improve memory functioning. So as an example, if someone is having difficulty in their everyday life, remembering new information that's presented to them, remembering appointments, um, one of the things that I'm trying to do is identify treatments, non-pharmacological treatments, so treatments that don't involve medications, that help them to learn and remember that information. In addition, what we're trying to do is teach patients how to apply those techniques that we're teaching them within the treatment to their everyday life. So not only do we spend time teaching the patient new techniques, but we also spend time teaching them how to apply those techniques in their daily life. Our outcome measures look at traditional neuropsychological tests, so how a person is doing on paper and pencil tests of memory functioning, but we also look at everyday life. So how does the patient feel like they're doing in their everyday life? How do their family members think they're doing in their everyday life? And then finally, we're also looking at neuroimaging outcomes. What that means is we're trying to understand why these treatments are working. So when a person sees an improvement in their daily life memory functions, what's happening at the level of the brain? What's happening inside the brain that's driving that difference? And we've published some seminal research articles recently that are showing that in only a five-week behavioral program, so no medications, um, we're able to change the way the brain is, is working to help it work more effectively in regard to supporting the memory functions that a person needs in their daily life.